All right, YouTube. Looks like the skunk cleaner shrimp is earning his keep. Here we go. Right now, looks like Virgil has entered the doctor's office. Wants to be cleaned up. And old Doc is doing his thing, getting whatever parasites or whatever skin irritations are bothering him. Hopefully, the powder blue will figure out that the doc is there and open for business and go down and visit the doc because he is the most sensitive to ick. But as you can see, well, he's toward his tail now, I guess. Let's see if we can get around this side. Okay, he's let him go. But glad to see that the uh, skunk cleaner shrimp is actually doing his job. Hopefully this will help with the uh, the ick problem that we've been having. Well, it, it's not really too much of a problem because the only one that's been severely affected or more affected than most has been the uh, powder blue. But as you can see, this little symbiotic relationship that goes on between skunk cleaner shrimp and fish is actually taking place in my aquarium, which I'm, I'm very happy to see. Shrimp are viewed as a food source, really, for most fish. And since putting Doc into the aquarium, he's molted once, so he shed his shell and has grown a bit. And that's why he was hidden most of the time when he was in the tank. Because, uh, you know, once they molt and they shed their shell, their, their bodies are very tender, so I guess it just took him a few days, you know, almost a week, for his shell to tighten up and get hard again. But right now, he's in business, and he's doing what he was put in the tank to do. Now, oh, Powder Blue has moved into position, but, yeah. I, I'm telling you, I swear, I hope the powder blue realizes what he's there for and actually utilizes him because, you know, most of my fish are tank raised. Whoa, 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 here we go. Here we go. And it looks like, ah, jumping in and out. Come on, dude. Go see the doc. You need it more than everybody else. Yep, there goes Virgil again. The butthead. And of course, poor little powder blue, you know. He gets pushed around by everybody else. Percival. So we named him. He gets pushed around by everybody else. He gets pushed around by Virgil and Queen. Because he's like the smallest tang in the tank. But it looks like he is actually getting it. So hopefully this whole ick thing won't be as big of a problem as it has been for Virgil. Since he's been in the tank. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Tell you what, uh, Virgil's gonna come out of there shiny. <laughs> Cause that Joker, he he's constantly in that corner. I saw it last night actually where the uh, cleaner shrimp was actually starting to do what it was placed in the uh, tank to do and Virgil was of course one of the first customers 
and today after I got off work, you know, it's about, wow, it's about, it's after 8 now, and I finally come back over to the tank to see Virgil getting cleaned again, but seeing the powder blue actually going down there, even though it was a short time period for him to get cleaned, at least he knows that the cleaner shrimp is there. And I believe intuitively he understands that this thing can help him. So let's hope this behavior continues. Let's hope that uh, we can mitigate a lot of this problem with the ick. He looks a lot better, to tell you the truth. Um, hoping everything works out. I mean, so far so good. You know, I always say that. Especially when it's true. Skunk cleaner shrimp old Doc is in his corner. There he is. I guess that's his office that he's going to work out of. And so far everything is going as planned. This is Testarossa 101. With an update on the skunk cleaner shrimp. Everything's looking lovely. Tessarosa 101, signing out.